You know I love me some Afro-Caribbean beats, right? But I'm not always gonna get that on set. So sometimes I get Rihanna, sometimes I get Drake, sometimes I get Future, and then sometimes we go back to Aaliyah, and then of course we always, always have to put on like Ready for the World, Oh Sheila, because that's my jam. I was 14 when people started asking me to model. So there was no like, oh, I have to do this right now. It was more gradual. I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. And I have to stop thinking that I, I'm going to get rewards from doing 50% of the work. I got to concentrate on one thing at a time, and that's when I did it. I discovered femininity when I became a model, and then uh, traveling to Paris, I think, for the first time, was it? Yeah. I remember, I just remember being, I felt like a woman, finally. I felt like a lady. My mother's influenced me in, in incredible ways. She's taught me how to fight. She's taught me how to persevere. She's taught me how to work hard and don't expect anything from anyone. I think she's taught me, as a woman, that there are no boundaries to what you can do. I, I feel that, that tension or that confusion of a woman in a room full of men. And you always feel like you need to prove yourself. And I am grateful for the platform that I have as a model, but sometimes it, 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 I feel like it's, it compromises you know, my, my strength in a room. And, and why should my organs dictate how you, how you look at me and how, how much I should make? So my first trip back to Eritrea as, a, as an adult was right after I broke out in this big, you know, fashion show for the designer line, Givenchy. And it was this like crazy juxtaposition of like going from Parisian, like really high fashion to not knowing where energy or the bathrooms or even if like there was toilets. I started to just look at the energy poverty that was happening around me and I realized this just isn't fair. And I think that's the monumental or pivotal point in when I decided to start this project. My nonprofit project is called Project Sahai, and Sahai means sun in the language of Tigrinya, which is spoken in Eritrea. Eritrea is where I'm from, where my family's from, so hence the family name. I, I started this project knowing that energy poverty is a huge issue around the world. I'd visited not just Eritrea, but other countries that didn't have access to running electricity or sustainable electricity. We believe in empowering communities and everyone should have the choice and have the access to energy, clean energy. Go East Africa, that's, that's what's up.